And we're going to start by talking about what Stephen mentioned there. Of course, this is coming to the end of Jurgen Klopp's tenure. And one of the names linked to the job is Roberto De Zerbi. Now, gentlemen, yesterday in his press conference, some interesting quotes. I'm just going to read a couple to you. Asked if De Zerbi would sign a new contract at Brighton, he said this. At the moment, no. We didn't find the agreement. He said, I want to speak with my club. I have a contract, but the problem is not the contract. The problem is to find the same plan, the same target, the same vision for the future. For me, he said, I have not yet decided what is my future. And he went on. I want to know what is the plan. What is the project? What is the future? Because if I don't feel comfortable, if I don't feel the right motivation, I can't stay any longer. Robbie. Your reaction to that? Uh, well, there's lots of lots of things to unpack there. Um, first off, I'll tell you what the plan is. The plan is exactly the same as the plan for the last few seasons. Mm. They, they've signed players with with talent, uh, mainly from South America. They develop them. They get them in the side. They have a progressive coach. They ain't spending any more money to get any further in the league table. So that's the plan. Now, I'm not a big fan of, of coaches coming on like that and. Um, speaking quite obviously about himself, you know, and, and his situation. There should be a private conversation, I feel, between him and Tony Bloom about the plan, about his contract. So I'm, I didn't like it, to be honest with you. And, and you know, with Roberto De Zerbi and, and his potential to get a big, big job, he's a little bit prickly sometimes in interviews. And, and that, for me, smacked of a little bit of ego, like, I'm ready to move on now. It's pretty obvious, I think, he feels... I mean, he's done a great job, and he's deserved to move on. I just don't like the public. Well, you know, it's not about the contracts, it's about the plan, it's about ambitions, and, and uh, for me, that should remain private. He should focus on his job, which is coaching Brighton. Tim, those quotes, is that him saying, Liverpool, come and get me? Somebody come and get him, yeah, I think it, I think it could be Liverpool. I, I'm with you, Musty. I just think... This is a football club that's so well run. Whether they're going to spend absorbent amounts of money or not, it's so well run. So if you have any gripes or any issues, just go and talk to whoever it is you want to talk to at the football club who's above you and get it sorted out. We've seen this a thousand times. He's either looking for a new contract or looking for a move, and that, that, that's as simple as that gets, because otherwise you don't do it publicly. Is it, d does he want to position himself for the Liverpool job? Possibly. I mean, if he was smart, he would, you know? And so um, either way, it's, a, it, it's a, a, an aggressive move on his part to make something happen. So, Tim, does he suit the Liverpool job? Um, well, uh, OK, so, so in recruitment of a new manager, Liverpool are going to look at all the statistical data, as Robbie says, data and fact. I'm, I'm curious as to what they're looking at regarding the eye test, how much weight they're putting in the eye test, because to succeed, Klopp is going to be nearly impossible. Um, you need a, a manager who can handle the weight of the, of the football club, who can handle the weight of Anfield. And, and I also think it, it's, a, it's about matching the new manager to this current squad. This current squad is like a you're in Klopp 2.0. It's new, it's fresh. Liverpool aren't going to overspend. They don't really ever go out and overspend. So the players that they have, they need to bring in a manager who can manage these players in a style tactically that suits the club. I think the Zerbi could be that person. I'm sure there's a couple of people out there, but certainly he's in the conversation. So as I said at the top of the show, no Xabi Alonso. He's going to stay at Bayer Leverkusen. <clears throat> Do you think the Zerbi has got a good chance of getting the job. I think he has got a good chance. Ruben Amarim, the sporting manager, also has a very, very good chance. Whichever reports you read is potentially the favourite for this position. He's brought Sporting back to the very top, which they, they, they hadn't been, I think, 19 years before he got to the club. He's done a very good job there. Also very young, under 40 years of age. So I think what Liverpool are doing, and maybe Man United possibly, and a few others, they're looking for the next big thing. The next Mourinho, the next Klopp, the next Pep. And... De Zerbi could be it. He absolutely could be it. And I, and I, and I, I just, I would love to see it, actually. I don't like these quotes. That, that's a down mark for me, because Liverpool is a club that doesn't... <laughs> they don't want their manager saying kind of stuff, like prickly stuff. They've got the scrutiny, the expectation of a big club. He hasn't done that. Shakhtar Donetsk and Sassuolo in, in Serie A. So it's a big challenge, but I'd love to see him get it. He's emotional. Do Liverpool yeah. want an emotional coach? Well, they've got one in Jurgen Klopp, so that, that would fit Rebecca, and I think that he's very, very emotional. It's just the, the scrutiny, the intensity of, of being a manager of a club the size of Liverpool. Is he ready for it? Nobody's perfect, by the way. But again, I'd like to see him get it. It is being billed.
Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.